Welcome to quantitative reasoning solutions. And today we're going to consider Lantern Step Quantitative Reasoning Book 4, Exercise 15A. So we have these examples before us and we're going to consider them. Okay, so we have 19, 15 and 5. So what's the difference or what are we adding or what are we multiplying? So let's look at this. 15 and 5. If you look at this, you realize that 15 plus 5 is 20. And when you take 1 away from 20, you have 19. So let's try that and see. So to get 19, we have 15 plus 5. And 15 plus 5 is 20. 20 minus 1 is 19. So to get 15. To get 15, we have 19 minus 5. 19 minus 5 is 14. Remember there is 1 somewhere. So we have 14 plus 1 is 15. To get 5, we have 19 minus 15, which is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, so let's look at this other example and see if the initial pattern will work for this. So to get, so for 19 here, we have 6. To get 6, To get 6, we have 4 plus 3, which is 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. To get the next number, which is, um, which is 4, as against 15 here, we have 4. So we have, to get 4, what do we do? We have 6 minus 3. And 6 minus 3. Here is 3. So remember we have 1 somewhere. So 3 plus 1 is 4. Okay. So to get 3. We have 6 minus 4 and 6 minus 4 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 so as you can see it worked for both examples and surely it will work for the third example okay so remember to subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions this particular one is for lantern step quantitative reasoning book 4 thank you very much and have a nice day bye